This morning, our Environment Northwest team is looking at Puget Sound's incredible diversity of marine life, while our state works to undo a failed decades-old artificial reef experiment. Right now, you may not know this, but tens of thousands of tires are submerged or floating all across Puget Sound after the Department of Natural Resources put them there. Farah Jadrin is here in the studio now with more. So Farah, how long have these tires been there and how is DNR getting them out? Yeah, well Mimi, Jake, some of those tires have been in Puget Sound since the 1960s. The Department of Natural Resources finally has the funding to carry out what they're calling a pilot program in removing the tires. It's counting on the legislature to continue funding the removal, which is estimated to cost more than $7 million. Tire bundles like these were strung together and and submerged across Puget Sound over the course of about 20 years. DNR says the intent was to provide more reef structures to attract sea life like rockfish and lingcod to boost recreational fishing. After surveys of multiple areas, DNR says there was no boost. There were no signs of significant life attaching to the tires and thriving. Instead, the only things that were growing were the major concerns over the damage to the sound when the ropes that tied them together dissolve and they can end up spreading out and actually damaging habitat and damaging wildlife instead of enhancing it over time. Now it's the wellness of wildlife like this that's at stake. Highline College's Mast Center Aquarium on Redondo Beach in Des Moines houses and studies more than 200 different Puget Sound species. The team here is among the many who are grateful to finally see the tires removed. Now most of the tires in Puget Sound are the size of tires on sedans or SUVs, but there are a variety including semi truck tires. Coming up tonight on King 5 News at 530, I'm going to go deeper into details with DNR about the cleanup and we hear from local divers that are doing their part to try to keep the sound clean. In the King 5 Studios for Environment Northwest, I'm Farah Jadrin.